All right, today we're gonna check out a couple of ancient ruin sites that most people drive by every day. I'm off of Hunt Highway right now. Behind me is the famous Post and Butte. Where... Okay, really quick, before we move on any farther into this video, I have to tell you, unfortunately, the GoPro 360 video did not turn out at all. I'm gonna try it again, but in this video, every time I tell you that I'm shooting with the GoPro Max to give you that 360 footage, you're not going to see it in this video, but hopefully you still enjoy this video. All right, let's return. There is an ancient ruin called the Poston Butte Ruin Site. Hundreds of years old, folks. Hundreds years of years old. I've driven by it numerous times. I found it in a major Southwest Archaeology magazine. All right. So how am I going to get these shots? I've been out here before. It, uh, the uh, the photographs I took were absolutely terrible. The video I took was terrible. So uh, how am I going to get a better shot? Hopefully, that you can see this ball court in these trash mound areas at this ancient site right here. I just hauled out for about oh 150 yards an eight foot tall ladder. That I'm going to step up on. Then I'm going to extend out the. Uh, the GoPro selfie stick thing, it's not a GoPro one, but uh, it goes about 13 feet. And then I'll be standing on an eight foot tall ladder and we'll see if we can see this a little bit better. coming in behind me but I am up on the ladder folks I don't know I'm hoping that you can see this I'll put it up on the selfie stick here uh, eight foot tall ladder just did the GoPro Max 360 footage hopefully it comes out but the mound is right out there folks what the average person has to go through we have to walk with ladders stay on the right side of the fence in order to see these unbelievable ancient ruin sites that truly and honestly you wouldn't even know that we're there because there's a group of individuals that like to hide this kind of stuff they don't want to tell the public they don't want to educate the public they'd rather keep it secret and keep it to an elite few your uh you know your archaeologists your major professors you know they're the only ones that are authorized to get on these lands i didn't realize how far i parked the car Woo! all right on to the next site Woo! Just made it back to the car, got the air conditioner blast, and go uh, just up the road about five miles to another spot that people pass every day. Um, there are three really unbelievable places over there. There, the uh, Florence Mound is over there. There's a ball court, there's trash mounds. Now, all this is off limits to the public, of course, off limits to the public. Um, we'll talk about that when we get over there. Stay tuned. All right, the next stop, Adamsville Road and the 287, right by the historic marker for the Adamsville ghost town that's right here. You have some unbelievable trash mounds, an ancient site behind me, but let me show you the sign that's right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the eight foot ladder up again. We're gonna hit it with the GoPro Max, show you a 360 view since we public are kept out of these locations. now. They can plow the 287 right through here, beautiful road, uh, and through Coolidge and Florence. Uh, right across the street is an awesome ball court, but you can't, you can't go there either. And then right up there is the uh, Adamsville Mound, and guess what? You can't gain access to that either. So let me show you this. Let me grab the ladder.
there's a sign there's a beautiful gate looks brand new there's a sign try to call the number they won't have any information for you okay again this is where i try to get that 360 video with the gopro unfortunately it just didn't come out Okay, just across the street from those trash mounds is this ancient ball court. heading over here to the Adamsville mound right off the freeway then I'm uh, gonna head back to the car and I'm gonna call it the day but uh, these are some extraordinary ruins off of the 287 between Coolidge and Florence it, it, it absolutely unbelievable I, I understand and please don't get me wrong I understand why they want to uh, fence these things off to preserve them to say you know put the 287 straight through these ancient ruin sites i understand that and so we are always on the outside looking into these ruins and here's the problem with that the problem with that is this we don't educate we just tell there's an elite group of people that tell us just to keep out there's nothing to look at here off of the 287 there's nothing to look at off of hunt highway a generation's going to go by and they're not going to know anything about the history of the Salt River Valley or anything like that. So uh, we really got to get out here. We do have to preserve history, but I believe we also have to show history. <music>